Hello everyone, thank you so much for uh, joining me again one more time for this video. Um, looking at a uh, couple of videos I've done in the past, I have seen so many people, uh, so many reaction, really good vibe, good positive reaction about uh, this beautiful instrument, you know. I apologize because I haven't been very active on YouTube and so after I downloaded uh, YouTube uh, studio and I saw all these comments. How do you play your calabash? How, you know, would you rather stand or sit? And so I, I was very amazed to see this uh, reaction. So thank you so much for your patience and I just like to show you a few things about this calabash. I'm not a teacher so sometimes I'm not good at what I, I teach people but I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any questions just feel free to drop a comment below and ask me if you have any any question or concern. So uh, the first question that uh, people ask is how do I like to play my calabash? Do, we, do I like to play standing or do I like to play sitting? I like to play it sitting because when the instrument is covered upside down, when the instrument is facing down, it has a beautiful sound and uh, what I use to get a very good sound of my instrument, I use a regular carpet, you know, carpet, or you can use a, make some foam, you know, acoustic panel, just put a couple of acoustic panel on the cardboard, and that just helps you absorb the, the echo. So this is a regular carpet, and check out this sound. This is, a, see, this sound just like the kick of a DW drum. You know, like it's the beautiful, beautiful sound. So I like to play mine that way. But I can get different sound from my calabash depending on the gig. Am I playing outdoor in a big event? So to get the bass, I use my fist and the bottom part of my fist, the pinky side. And then I hit it right on top of it, right on top of the calabash. That's where I hit to get a good sound. You can hit it on the side, but it doesn't give a nice sound because the calabash is going to be moving. So you don't want that. You want to get that good sound. So. That's a way of getting it, getting a very, very good dynamic, good solid sound. But if it's an indoor where it's like people are eating or, you know, like a reception, a wedding reception, you don't want to give that big sound. You look at the dynamic of the band, you know, you don't want to put your head down and start like playing so hard. L listen to the other players and look. If you don't need to have that big sound, you can use the bottom of your, your wrist, the bottom of your hand, of your palm, and you can hit it. So that gives another nice sound, just like a DW, but a little bit softer and a little bit cleaner. So. So that's the second sound I like to use. And sometimes I just like to use my fingers, like depending. If you do have a ring in your hand, that comes into your advantage. So these are my favorite sound that I like to get from the calabash. So the, the kick, the soft kick and as a snare. So before I end this video, I just like to show you um, a different variation of a 16 note that you can do like a drum fill. So let's say we keep counting the eighth note. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Then the 16 drum fill will basically be like. So. That would be the drum feel. Maybe I'm not counting right, but for me it's very natural. So, 
We have this nice drum fill, but when you play it in the calabash, if you only use your your wrist and the fist, you're gonna just get the same sound. Very sound, sounds nice, solid, but boring. So you wanna just change the different sound. So I can play the same drum fill as, drum fill as. That's one way to do it, or. Another way of doing it, or. So, for you to do it, practice. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. It's a lot of counting. So. Do it with the beat, your eighth note. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So one and three are the top of your calabash, two and four are the size of the calabash. So you're basically getting the kick and the snare. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Play that for as many times as you want but then give time for the drum fill. So one and two and three and four fill. One and two and three and four fill. One and two and three and four fill. So once you get that routine going on, then try to alternate between making a fist or just opening up your palm to get the sound. So one, two, and three, and four, fill. One, and two, and three, and four, fill. One, and two, and three, and four, fill. One, and two, and three, and four, fill. Work on it. The counting might be different for everybody, but if this is helpful, I mean, take your time. Take your time as you play. The more you play, it's going to be more natural for you to get these drum fill and add those good notes and different things that you can add. So for me, if I play it with a little bit of um, fast tempo, let's say in the middle of a gig, for example, I'm like, So that's something that with practice, 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 it's going to be helpful. It's gonna be more natural. Try to use a metronome, start slow, you know, slow with the eight notes. Try to do a 16 uh, drum fill on the calabash. Use your fist to get comfortable with the counting. After that, subdivide that between making a fist and then just the bottom of your hand, of your palm or using your fingers. Hope this video was a little bit helpful and just drop your comment below if you have anything that you'd like to discuss. Please let me know. I'll be very happy. Again, if you like this kind of comment, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Again, like I said, I'm not a teacher, but I just like to use my gift and the little techniques that I know to share with other people and hopefully you find this helpful and uh, drop a comment down, subscribe to the channel, give a thumbs up, share it. And uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. All right, you have a safe end of this year and uh, stay healthy and be good and practice and uh, peace. Thank you. Bye.